go to jail. Well, I'm going to fix some words. And five years ago, when Diane Feinstein, Democrat, California, was a chairwoman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, she had a communist, Chinese communist spy working for her as a chauffeur. And of course, she denies uh, having any, no, any knowledge of it. Naturally, she's going to deny it. He worked. He was at her side for almost 20 years. If you believe that this was per perfectly innocent on her part, I have a bridge in Brooklyn that I'll sell you dirt cheap. Because you'd believe anything. That is bullshit. It happened five years ago, but additional information is just surfacing about how Bay Area Senator's office was infiltrated by a Chinese spy. Bay Area is a hotbed for Russian and Chinese espionage. Well, <laughs> what do you think? I mean, you have Pelosi, you have Feinstein. I mean, it's a good place for uh, getting information. Last year, the feds shut down the Russian consulate in San Francisco. You may remember the thick black smoke that billowing from the building for Russian diplomats turned it over to the authorities, presumably produced by burning documents. Now, all eyes are on Chinese intelligence in the Bay Area after the website Politico reported last week that a staffer for Senator Feinstein turned out to be a Chinese spy who reported back to the government officials about local politics. I'm quite certain that's not all he reported. On Wednesday, the San Francisco Chronicle uncovered additional details in a column written by reporters Phil Mattier and Andy Ross. The column revealed that Chinese spy was Feinstein's driver, who also served as a gopher in his Bay Area office and was the liaison to the Asian American community. Feinstein, who was chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee at the time, was reportedly mortified when the FBI told her she'd been inf infiltrated. I'm going to translate that. She was mortified that she got caught. Investigators reportedly concluded that the driver hadn't leaked anything of sub substance and Feinstein forced him to retire. Like I said, if you believe that, I'll uh, sell you a bridge in Brooklyn dirt cheap. That is incredible bullshit. Think about Diane Feinstein and what she has had access to said analyst Jeff Harp. Once she had access to the Chinese community here in San Francisco, great amount of political influence too. Correct me if I'm wrong, Diane Feinstein still has very close ties to intelligence committees there in Washington, D.C. So I'm going to break this down. She had, she was chairwoman of that Senate Intelligence Committee, so she had access to all sorts of valuable, extremely valuable information. And if she had access to it, her uh, so-called driver had access to it. I mean, what else am I supposed to think here? She didn't know about this? Don't give me this hot wash. And this goes on and on, but I think the point's been made. Rough to me, she would be in an orange jumpsuit right now. So he's alive. I am madder in hell about this. I, I had not heard about this, uh, mainly because the lamestream media doesn't want you to know about it. But 
even they are saying, hey, what's going on with this? Well, there you have it. Uh, Senator Feinstein, in my opinion, should be in prison awaiting trial on espionage. Unbelievable. I wonder what the penalty for espionage like this in peacetime is. You know, uh, Rosenberg's a couple back in the 50s are and gave away uh, secrets of the bomb to the Russians, and they were executed for their crime. I'm sure I have changed. I'm Artifacts of Mars. It's late. I'm tired. Need to go to bed. I'm running out of juice real fast. Thanks for watching.